Well, let us do this problem. This says evaluate, that says simplify. Good. So, the power is negative. We will first make it as positive. So, 4 divided by 256 to the power 1 by 4. Now, the power has become positive because the entire thing has come to the denominator. Divided by 243 to the power 1 by 5. Now, we have to evaluate that means each and every term we have to make it as simple as possible. This 4 remains as it is, we need not worry. Let us see fourth root of 256. Obviously, you have to use the prime factors uh, method and find the group of 4, which number appears 4 times. Okay. So, that is the standard way of doing it. I know the answer already. So, this is nothing but 4 to the power 256, fourth root of 256. The numerator is 4, the denominator is fourth root of 256 divided by this is again fifth root of 243. So, both you have to find the value by doing the prime factors. So, here the answer is actually 4. Fourth root of 256 is nothing but 4. 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 is 256. Okay. So, that is how you got 4 divided by here it is 3. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 5 times if you multiply 3 you get the answer as 343, uh, 243. So, you can check that. Or how do you do it? You please find the uh, prime factors. Let me do that for you. 243. You start, you cannot start from 2. Is 3 possible? Yes, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. So, I start with 3. I, I get 81. Then I get 3. I get uh, 27. Then 3, 9, 3, 3 and then 3 and 1. A set of 5 numbers because the power is, sorry, the root is fifth root. So, obviously, a set of 5 numbers. So, 1 number out of that. So, there are 5 threes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 1 3 I will take out and which is the fifth root of 243. So, 4 by 4 divided by 3 which is nothing but 1 divided by 3. 1 by 3. That is all. That is the answer. Okay. So, that is the final answer. Here we will simplify. Perhaps the answer is not uh, something we can find so easily. That is why the question is about simplification. Let us see. Now, there is a plus sign here. That means this square you have to do separately, that square you have to do separately. Please understand this does not mean 9 plus 40 to the power 2. Forget about the power. 9 square plus 40 square is not 9 plus 40 the whole square that is wrong. Okay, It is not like that. So, you have to do this separately. 9 square is 81, 40 square is 1600 and then whole to the power 3 by 2. That is fine. Now, let me add these two numbers 1681. Since here it is 2, so that means square root of this I have to find and then this 3 will come here as q. Okay, it says simplification. I do not think we have can leave it here. Perhaps one more step is possible. What does it mean? You have to find the square root of 1681. Find the square root of 1681 any way you feel like you have learnt already the long division method because it is a four digit number. Use the long division method. Do not go for prime factorization particularly for square root for big numbers because it is going to take a lot of time. Okay. It is always better to go for long division method since it is there and you already know. Go use that long division method. You will get the answer as 41. Then of course, Q. That is all. You can leave it here. This is enough. It says simplify. Please do not multiply 41 into 41 into 41. Had it been evaluation? Yes. You have to multiply three times and get the answer. A multiplication job has to be done. But for simplification, this is the simplified version. You have a nice base and a nice power as a positive number. So, it is fine, more than enough. Here, of course, we did evaluate and we got the final answer as 1 by 3. So, now when you are seeing these problems, you realize that the same 5 rules are again and again and repeated and we do and we do not make mistakes of the type adding the base and the powers are same. Never do that. Okay? So, that is wrong. You find them separately and then get the answer. Then square root of this this sort of 81 plus 1600 is 1681 to the power 3 by 2. This one step of course should have come here and then we come to this, isn't it? How to write that in this terms? I hope you are, uh, now understand this whatever is here in the denominator that root we have to find. So, if the denominator was 2, it is square root. If the denominator is 5, the fifth root. If the denominator is 10, the tenth root, whatever it is and this power will come here. So, invariably square root is found first and then the power is done. As I told you before, we can do the other way around also. You can do 1681 cube and then find the square root. But square root is much easier to find. Okay. 
So, well, the answer here is 41 cube because we have just simplified that.